We're going to take a look at rooting depth. Uh, there's two ways of doing this. We're going to look at where 80% of the roots have accumulated within the soil. And we're also going to look at the total or the maximum length of rooting depth um, to get an understanding of how that's working under, under the soil. But why is this important? It's important because we want to check that there's nothing impeding root growth. Um, and also we want to see that 80% of the roots are getting down nice and deep because a lot of the biological action happens around the roots. So you want them to be reaching down into the soil profile. So by looking at 80% of where the root, where 80 of the roots are amassed, you can see where the most activity is happening. And by looking at the total depth, you can see how far down the profile they're getting and hopefully increase that over time with management. We're going to be doing this on pasture um, today, but you can also do this on cover crops or in arable systems as well, really depending on what you're managing for. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to measure rooting depth, which is where we're looking at where 80% of the roots are amassed in the soil profile. So it's quite a simple test. Once you've dug out your block, you take your ruler and you look from the top down through the profile at where 80% of the roots are amassed. And here you can see that that's the bottom of the block where it's kind of dropped off, so that's definitely where the root mass starts to drop off. But if we take the ruler and we're having a look, and you can see there's quite a lot of roots at the top, and then here maybe less, so you can kind of break it apart as well if you want to have more of a look. What do you reckon, Ed? Oh, well, there's a worm. So the roots are definitely getting down. You like sort of here, yeah. Yeah, so maybe it's sort of more like there, because here it's kind of crumbled a bit, and then we can see them getting through. So I'm going to measure to there, and that's, yeah, I think about there, so that's 10 centimetres, yeah, from the surface, and then we'll record 10 centimetres in the Soil Mentor app, and actually taking a picture as well, so then we can refer back to it. So now we've looked at where 80% of the roots have amassed, we're now going to have a look at uh, where the maximum or the total length of those roots are as well. So we can see that most of the roots are here where the soil is held together, but if we're looking down, further down into the profile there are roots that have come down into the bottom. So depending on where you think they stopped, we could even say that if this is 20 centimetres and, and the roots are getting all the way down that they are getting down 20 centimetres here because I would say that there aren't any blocks in this bottom part that don't have roots in mm. them. I don't know what you think. But we... Yeah, there's definitely still roots at the bottom. So no, the other thing that we can do as well is look inside the hole to check um, and see if the roots are really going down 20 centimetres. So we could also get the ruler in there. <laughs> so you can see here where the roots are coming out. And they are pretty much getting down there. You can see there's sort of little ones coming out. So if we put our ruler in, see how deep we went. So there's 20 centimetres. And so 20 centimetres is your kind of spade depth, Well, yeah, depth, that's right? the spade depth. depth. So we dug out the block, which is 20 centimetres deep. So what do you reckon? Can you see roots at the bottom? I there's definitely some, yeah, yeah just right yeah. at the bottom there. Just little ones. So they are definitely getting down right to the bottom of that block, which is great. Great. So we'd say. So we'd say, total rooting depth, twenty centimeters, and also take a photo like this, and then we can save that, and then refer back to it. 